Several years ago, I came up with a trick, an idea involving a bag of potato chips. And I performed at some parties and went really well. People liked it, this and that. And then about two months ago, I thought, wouldn't it be great if I could do something with two bags of chips? And boom, sometimes the ideas just come fully formed and this is super exciting. The next time you're looking to walk people at a party, even with social distancing or a picnic, more common social distancing, any party, any picnic, when we finally get back to business and back to school and work in lunchrooms and all these things, this is crazy. People will remember this trick long after a whole bunch of other things you do. I'm going to perform it right now and teach it to you right now as well, okay? So, you need a bag of chips, uh, two bags of chips, nice contrasting snack foods, one's the Doritos, one's the plain ruffles, uh, and a deck of cards, okay? Deck of playing cards, that's what you need. You say, hey, I think you'd agree, if I could do sleight of hand with potato chips, that would be pretty good. Sleight of hand with potato chips. But, if I don't even take the chips out, I'm going to drop it out of the factory sealed bags. If I don't even take the chips out and I'm able to do sleight of hand with the chips inside the bags, that's freaking crazy. Think you'd agree? Now he's the real deal. He is Merlin. He is Merlin at that point. Okay, Gandalf the Grey. Ah, uh, that's right. Um, so, uh, here we go. You say, look, I want you to have an influence on what I'm going to do because not only am I going to try to slide in with the chips, but I want you to decide exactly what I do with which chips. So you say, look, I'm going to have you select a couple of cards. I'm going to go through the cards, say stop. They say stop. They can say stop wherever they want. And really, it's not like a riffle force or anything. Six, it's a six of clubs. Okay. And we'll go through it again, say stop wherever you want. And again, they can you want me to go one more card. They say, sure, one more card. That's great. So the first one is a six. This one is going to be a, it's a four. Okay, six and a four. That's all we're going to use. The six and the four. Now, you get to decide which bowl do you want me to put the six in? Because you're going to determine the sleight of hand I do. And which bowl do you want me to put the four in? And they get 100% free choice. And you say, okay, great. Remember, you got to decide, right? And they say, let's put the six in the ruffles. So I put the six in the ruffles, okay? Six is in the ruffles, which leaves the four in the Doritos, okay? And I say, look. You put the six here. I'm going to try to send, impossibly, magically with sleight of hand, move six of the chips from here into the Doritos bag. You pick the cards. You decided what was going to go where. And here, what do you got? The four you put over here, I'm going to try to make four of the Doritos go into the bag of ruffles. Now, of course, people are assuming that you've been drinking too much because that's, that's a little crazy. But then... Remember, it's a six with the one. Then you open inside. You open the bag, or can even have somebody else open the bag. And when they spill out into the bowl, let's see how this shot looks. They find impossibly. Look, look. One, two, three, and four of the Doritos you got over there. And over here, and again, they can open it up, they can shake it out. In among all the Doritos, they in fact find one, two, three, four, five, six ruffles. Okay. Super simple trick. A little bit of preparation, a little card force here, a little bit of psychology. Really fun combination of elements. You're going to love doing this trick and preparing it is kind of cool. A little bit of a secret agent preparation required, but really, really easy. Okay. So I'm going to teach you that. Um, I'm also going to give away, I'm going to announce the winner from last week, Hoodlum, last week involving, um, and I asked you guys the question, what's your, what, if you have any hoodie up here in the world, the color, the shape, the, so I've got the winners right here, all 12 winners, I'm going to announce those in a moment, and I also have the question of the week. This week I'm giving away one of my metamorph gimmicks. A metamorph is a very cool combination of old principles, but really fresh combination, that allows you with just a wave of your hand to change a playing card into a dollar bill, or you could change a blank piece of paper into a playing card or a prediction, a lottery ticket thing. So much you can do with it. I'm going to give away, uh, you're going to give a chance to win one of those right now. Leave a question down below. This week's question is a hard one. You ready? Because I'm a bit of a potato chip freak, so I want you to leave a comment down below and tell me. What is your absolute favorite chip? Pretzels don't count. Ringolo, but ring, ringolos don't count, okay? What's your favorite chip? This is a chip. This is a trip. What's the flavor? What's the brand? Leave whatever. I want your favorite flavor of chip. Comment down below for your chance to win. Okay? One of my metamorphs. All right. 
we've done that. Let's jump into the prep here. Okay, so I only have two bags today, so we're gonna have to use a little bit of our imaginations, but it's not a big deal. Here's what you do. Leave the top of the bag sealed. Mm. Carefully open the bottom of the bag of both chips, okay? Open them up really neatly, okay? From one bag, remove three. From the other bag, remove five, whatever. Some change it up two. I wouldn't go into 10 chips, nine chips, king chips. It's too much, too much counting. No one wants to count. Nobody wants to count chips. Okay, so there's a t-shirt. Uh, so two in here and three in there, four, but you've opened the bags, okay, at the bottom. Then what you do, and this is kind of fun. Where's my, is it here? No, it isn't, but hold on. Is put, put, the, uh, put all the contents back in the two bags, right? Then put the tape, uh, a very thin piece of tape, thinner the better. You can barely see it here because these are so shiny. I've sealed these bags with a piece of tape, okay? And you seal them up to the very, very end, leave a little space, and get a straw. Slip the straw inside. With air, and you blow air into the straw, and these puff up really nicely. Then you pinch that and just put the last little piece of tape on. So now, both chips will look exactly like factory sealed bags. They could be handed. You'd never say examine the bag of chips, ma'am, sir. Um, but uh, they both look totally full, factory sealed. And you've exchanged the contents. There's two and one, three and the other, four and five, whatever. Okay, now, next you put them both in a bowl. It's nice to have these two bowls, plastic bowls, whatever, whatever appropriate bowls, okay? I mean, for really dramatic, if you're at a picnic table, the birds will get them, I guess. You could, you know, at the end have some, oh, and slowly shake out. They're going everywhere except the one, two, three, four Doritos. You could have them doing that, but it seems like a waste. Uh, make people cry who love chips. So two, uh, you got the two bowls, you exchange the contents. Now it comes down to the force. Any force you have that forces the two cards. Let's say we go with the two and three, okay? You can do a cut card riffle force. They call stop and you force there and those are your two cards. The forces, you could do a Hindu shuffle force. I mean, this magicians will frown on this where they're on the bottom, you're pulling stuff off the top. Magicians will kind of say, oh, that's not very classy or it's not very cool, but it works. You can, they call stop whenever they want. All you do is turn this over and go, we stop at two cards, what are our two cards? The force I used is what's uh, my move called the Wichita switch or Wichita slip. It's not easy, but it really works well here. Say I've got a three or a three and two on the bottom here like this. I riffle through and when they call stop, I stop and this is the action. I'm pushing off the top card here, buckling the bottom card and this is knacky. You're actually pulling it back with your fingers to make sure that it's completely separate from the rest, okay? Really important that it gets separated. Then I come over with my first finger on top, my middle finger below and I actually look like I'm grabbing the top card but I actually grab the bottom card and turn that over. You'd swear that I'm turning the top card over here, okay? But it's the bottom card that is giving, this turnover gives enough cover, visual cover, that you get to boom and turn that over. So it's a bottom force. I do two of those and I get to my two cards. You can even do the crisscross force, okay? Any force to get to your two. Now what's cool with the bags in here is if they have you choose, and your bags are here, they're not empty yet, say which one do you want the two and which one do you want the three. Obviously, if they want the two in here, you can either say, okay, I'm going to send those two over there, or if they put the two in there and you put the three in here, say, well, I'm going to try to attract. I'm going to try to magically move two from that bag over here. So it's equivocate. If they put it here, you say, I'm going to send two over there. And if this is actually uh, the one with the two in it, then you say, okay, two, I'm going to see if I can attract. If I can magically move two from there right over here. So both feel right. You're doing equivocate, boom, like this. And then to finish, of course, you open the bag uh, you, and you open the, have them open the tops of the bag and really emphasize your factory seal, shake out and show them that impossibly you did sleight of hand with potato chips and command performance because they are factory seal bags, but they even determined sort of how many you were going to move from one bag to the other. Okay, so which, uh, anyway, very cool trick. Let me announce right now the winners. The hoodlum winners are uh, Aiden Weinzettel, Weinzettel, Zach Tyler, uh, Friedrich Klent, K L E T T, Klent, Lenny Vega, uh, Paddock Andra, that's P A D I K Andra, Dennis Van Linger, Carl Ortholieb, Wes Keenan, Jesse Chaplin, Tom Hudders, Claude Van Horn, not Van Dam. Uh, and Chandler Miller. That's it. Yes. Those are the 12 winners. If you won, contact my team. Send them an email to contact at sankeymagic.com. Let them know, hey, 
I won. I won the hoodlum. And make sure you include your, send them on the email, your YouTube name, your real name, if it's different, your shipping address, and my team will send you the hoodlum gimmick, which you can use. You'll be able to use this with most designs of hoodies, including probably your favorite hoodies. So it'll be a very cool trick. Uh, so I hope you uh, enjoyed today. Try this. This is one of these presentation pieces you can really play it up, do for 25 people at a picnic. They'll think you're David Copperfield, uh, which is really cool. Uh, and please subscribe to the channel. I got a whole bunch of kind of uh, stuff coming. Um, not too much is in the hands, still COVID friendly kind of stuff on the way here on the channel. So subscribe to the channel and uh, subscribe to my, make sure you sign up for my free magic newsletter. Every week I send out a newsletter, sometimes two with product information and also tips, stories from recent shows I may have had here, Zoom shows recently. Uh, so subscribe and what you do is you go to visit sankeymagic.com and at the very bottom of the landing page at sankeymagic.com, you'll find a place to put your email address in and you'll be instantly subscribed to my free newsletter. Have a great day, guys. And uh, don't mind me. I'm going to have some chips. Food.